Hi, my name is Evgeny Laptev. I am the systems architect at RCN Tech. We design and manufacture smartest PDUs on the planet. We name them RPCM – Resilient Power Control Module. One of the modules in our product line is designed specially for customers running cryptocurrency mining operations. It is named the RPCM Mining Edition. It is a super smart power distribution unit with total current capacity of 63 amps, which is about 15 kilowatts, and 10 outlets to connect mining equipment. There is a big variety of different mining devices presented on the market. Among them, most popular specialized mining devices in the world today are the mining devices manufactured by Bitmain. Many people who run mining operations on professional scale periodically face the problem that separate ASIC chips or even whole PCB planes with chips hang, which leads to decrease of hash rate, which in turn leads to loss of profit. In order to detect this problem, someone has to regularly log into miners, check if everything is fine, and if it's not, reset power to that particular miner. If number of devices is low, then dedicating someone to do this kind of manual monitoring doesn't pay for itself. If number of devices is high, doing this procedure manually becomes too labor-intensive. Some people try to solve this task with external monitoring software. However, in any case, once you detect the problem, you need to act on it. We have equipped our RPCM Mining Edition Smart PDUs, with hash rate and API availability monitoring functionality for Bitmain miners. When the RPCM detects that hash rate goes below specified level or that API has become unavailable, it automatically turns off and then turns on the outlet to which particular mining device is connected, thereby automating the above-mentioned operations for crypto mining farms of any size. More than that, you can get notifications to be aware that the problem took place and has been solved. Let me quickly show you how easy it is to configure and make it work. Here is the RPCM Mining Edition. Here we have Bitmain D3 connected to one of its outlets. In order to be aware of what's happening, let's begin with configuration of email notifications in RPCM. Let's open the configuration menu and set up details of the mail server through which the RPCM will send email notifications. Next, let's set up email address of the recipient. In order to monitor hash rate, let's configure the relation of the RPCM outlet with a particular miner and check the hash rate thresholds. As we can see, the RPCM has successfully connected to the miner and shows its current hash rate. Now, for the purpose of demonstration, because we don't want to wait until the problem appears itself, let's decrease the frequency of the miner through its interface and restart it. After restart, hash rate has decreased to around 13.4 thousand megahashes, which is below the defined limit. Let's wait for the wait times defined in the configuration. We see that the RPCM has turned off and turned on the miner's outlet. In System Journal, we see that the monitoring event and action that has been taken have been logged. Let's take a look into our mailbox. As we can see, we've received messages about decrease of the hash rate below the defined limit with a subsequent restart of the outlet. Problems with hanging miners can be solved that easy. Automation that I have described is one of many functionalities of RPCMs. Besides the described automation, RPCMs provide protection from short circuits and current overloads for each of 10 outlets. This allows to significantly reduce risks of fires. 
For every consuming device, we have implemented separate power metering as well as possibility to remotely turn power off and on. Also, we have implemented indication of correct grounding connection. RPCMs can be easily integrated with different external applications and systems, for example with billing, with the help of the REST API. We have recorded a separate video that describes the short circuit protection functionality in details. You can watch it by following the link on screen or you can find the link to it in the description below. In our next videos, we will show you how RPCM can monitor network availability and decrease of power consumption of power devices and automatically restart hung equipment based on these observations. If you like the described RPCM functionality, please share this video with your friends and subscribe to our channel in order to learn about new upcoming functionality of our devices. Thank you.